guys, welcome back once again to your channel. This is actually the same day. I just want to pick my mom up. She's over there cutting up my collar and preparing the prepared stuff, as you guys know. But let me tell y'all something. I had to drive to Kalamazoo and back to find, guess what I found? Dun, 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 dun. My $5 candles. Okay, so. Dollar General, but I had to drive clear across town, which was en route to get my mom, and I was so excited. I bought, well, I bought all they had on the shelf, because somebody else knows about the cameras, okay? So, well, I bought all the ones that, I ain't going to say all of them. I left some that were more summery, but let me show y'all the ones that I did get. So, first of all, this is... How many ounces is this? Does it say? Y'all uh, know I don't have my um, magnifying glass, but it is. I think that. Hold on, let me make sure because I don't know if I'm reading that right or not. Five dollar counter, y'all. Five dollars. And I actually stepped out my comfort zone because it was worth it. 17 ounces 17 ounces so this is the one that I got right here this is coconut vanilla sugar no vanilla sugar coconut vanilla looks like this in this tall jar and as you can see it has the the layers really really tall jar as you can see okay five freaking dollars and it's a one wick candle and it literally smells like a bakery five bucks 17 ounces okay so i got that one five bucks then i found a vanilla chai snickerdoodle donut apple cinnamon 17 ounces okay as you can see, it has the three little layers there. Even the packaging on it is cute. One wick smells like a bakery. So good. So, so, so good. So I got two of those, actually. Yeah, I got two of those right there. And I should have gotten, because I think they had one more of this vanilla one, coconut vanilla. I should have got that one, too. And then I got... This is Coastal Breeze Misty Harbor Mineral Bay, another 17-ounce candle that looks like that. Look at the packaging. Now, this one is, it actually has a beachy, it has that beachy, um, suntan, really powdery, fresh. Good, this is good for the bathroom, okay? Look at the packaging. Packaging on them is even cute. And look how tall that is. And I love how it's in the layers, like the, the three layers. That is so stinking cute, okay? And then the ones that I normally buy, you guys have seen these, and I always get this one, which is Sunset Gava. I think it's Sunset Gava. What does that say? $5. This one is 15 ounces, okay? Y'all know I burn these all the time. These are the ones I was going to hunt for and couldn't find. These are two wick candles. It smells so peachy. It smells peachy, fruity. It's kind of a summery smell, but mixed in with all my other candles, it can, you know, it'll pass the test of the holidays, okay? So I got that one, and then I got a vanilla chai, which I think I've had this one before as well. Two wick candle. This smells like straight coconut vanilla with a hint of holiday in it. Has that holiday-ish kind of a smell, but you can smell a good coconut throat. So I got these two, and you know normally, is this one? Yeah, I got this one, which I've had this one several times. This is the confetti cake. Look at the packaging. Very Bath and Body Works-esque. Mm. This is a three-wick candle, and it just smells like cupcakes, cakes, 
baking in the oven. Holiday scent, you know, like you're cooking up something good. And now y'all know, now these three right here, I typically hate, y'all know I hate these particular types of jars because I don't like that. I don't, it's something, this is just, I don't know, it just takes me back to my, when my grandma used to buy these kind of candles back in the day before Yankee Candle was like a thousand dollars a jar. She used to buy Yankee Candles and she would always buy them green. They would always be green for some reason. And this is what that reminds me of. That top, I just, I don't like the top. So I'll be removing the top and hiding it until it's time for me to close it off to, you know, put it out. But the reason I got it was because, hunty, this is salted caramel, okay? The packaging itself is cute, minus the ugly jar. Look at the packaging. This one is, uh... 18 ounces. So this is actually bigger than this. It's shorter, but it's it has more width, girth to it than this one. So it's actually more in this candle than that one. And honey, when I look, listen, find you a, a Dollar General near you that ain't sold out of these. Thank me later for every candle I've showed you if you can find it. Like I had to drive to Kalamazoo. Oh my God, this smells so good. It's a one week candle. Now, that one that I showed you guys that I got from, I believe, Home Goods, and I had it before. It's in the white frosted. It has this kind of top on it. I can burn, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. I can light that candle at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I can put that candle out at 10 o'clock at night. And it literally looks like it hadn't burnt anywhere but when you walk down that hallway that's all you can smell so they burn they have a good burn time on them i just taste these ugly freaking jaw tops this is so pretty and then it's rust very fall like but it's gonna be holiday okay holiday look at the packaging so cute and the throw on it ain't no joke salted caramel this is like the salted caramel coffee that we drink together I just don't like this top right this top just <laughs> I just I just wish they would change the lid these lids been the same on this particular Yankee candles candles like this forever I'm telling you it takes me back to my grandma days are green ones but I got a blue one this is coastal linen good back for the bathroom and it doesn't smell like the beach this smells like fresh washed clothes with a high powered washing detergent and fabric softener. That's what this smells like. It just smells so oh mixed in. This is a good bathroom. I'll probably put this one in my bathroom and put the other one. This one, well I haven't showed you this one yet. But this one what I say was coastal linen. All five dollars. Five dollars for these big candles. And the throw is no joke. Y'all know I buy them all the time when I can find them. This one is vanilla sugar. Look at the packaging. Cute packaging, right? And it smells just what it says. Like vanilla sugar donuts. These sugary does mix in with the holiday flair even if they're not like Christmassy decorated or snowflakes and all that stuff the scent though is very reminiscent of a holiday because it smells like you're baking something you know five dollars each okay how many did I get I got those four right there which are so good and then I got the grandma kind that smells so good and it's crazy how not all of the Dollar Generals carry them. I was upset about that. I'm trying to put them up here so you guys can, so I can show you them in one walk. Oh my God, these things smell so good. Y'all, find a Dollar General in your area if you have one. I'm going to let y'all screenshot these particular flavors because you will thank me later, honey. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't know, Mom. Hold up for a second. Okay, so here they are. Look, let me show you the let me show you the uh, names of them. 
so that when you go find them, you can thank me later. You'll thank me later. I promise you, you will. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, my goodness. These were so good, I got two of them. I feel like I need to go back and see if I can dig in the back. I should have asked them when their trucks come in. So that, um, I don't know. But look at that. Ooh, so, so good. So, so good. I'm going to see how long these right here burn. I know these have a good burn time. I already know these ones with the grandma tops. They have a good burn time. At least I know the other one in my bathroom does. But look at there. Whenever I take them off of the candle. So here's one of my new candles. Oh my God. When I tell you guys, this candle. Thank me later. I'm just telling you now. I'm just telling you. But I sit the lids that are like this right underneath it. So that when I'm done burning, I can just take the lid and then snuff it out. So I sit those types of lids like that just right underneath it out of the way. But now this one right here, the grandma one, I just sit it right beside it. Even though it's so freaking ugly, I just sit it right beside it so that when it's time to, you know, I can just put it over top. But I, I, if I had something to sit these in that I didn't have to hunt them down, I would probably just keep them all in that. But that's how I do with this particular uh, candle. Let me see what the other one over here looks like. Same thing. This is the same kind. So I actually have it sitting back there behind it. So all you see is that. Girl, walking in the front door right here. All you smell is grandma baking cookies. Okay? Okay. So I had to go buy a big tall pot for my collard greens. That are, okay, it's steaming up. You can't see nothing, but... Those are collard greens in there that are out of my grandpa's, uh, out of my grandpa's, uh, garden right there. So that's what that is. I had to go buy that pot from Ollie's because I didn't have one that tall. Um, what else can I show you guys? So I'm sure y'all also, okay, so I have a candle here. I have a candle here. I just showed you the one at the door. I have this one because I want to just go ahead and burn it on out. It's not that much in there. And it doesn't put off a lot of smoke. So this is one of the ones I showed you guys from what Home Goods, I believe. And so I just have it here. Right there. And then of course I have this big one that has been burning forever. Have that one there. Where else do I have a candle? I ha oh, I have one here. I have that one there. <laughs> I told you, I'm a candle whore. I want candle smells everywhere. Got one here. Oh, let me show y'all this. Look, 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 look. Okay, look, look at the ghetto rig. But look at my heater. I went and got this heater. Now, I'm outside right now. I'm outside. Can you see me? No tank top. Now, look, I put the umbrellas up like this to block the wind. That's kind of, it's blowing by. Like, it's blowing by. But occasionally it'll try to dip in here in this little in this little alcove. I mean my little nest egg here. So I put these umbrellas up to block the wind from coming. And here's my little heater and it's set on 90. And it works by a remote control. So you can um turn it up and down, up and down, um, off, and then it has a timer on it as well. And it's in this plug right here, right? It just it says does not do not put in a extension cord, so that's the black cord. But I don't think this um this right here is strong enough to handle the voltage of this, cause you see how it just cut off. So let me try something. Hold on. Okay, so I removed the other plug out of this one that's outside. Um. And we'll see. And I took it down to 79. I have on my patio socks, as you can see. But it is literally kicking out some heat, okay? This thing is kicking out some heat for your girl, okay? And then the wind stops. The, the umbrellas, like I say, stop the wind from blowing in here when it does. But this just warms you up. It cuts that, you know, so that I can sit out here. I don't know if you can see me or not, because I got it turned around. 
but we'll see if it trips the um, thing again. And if it does, then I'm, I got the box. I'm going to take it back and get one with the lower uh, wattage on it. But it says it's to heat an entire room. Heats an entire room is what it says. So maybe I should have gotten one that was, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you posted on how it's doing. Happy Thanksgiving, beautiful family. Good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are having great times with family, friends, yourself, whoever it is, or however it is you celebrate Thanksgiving. As you can see, I am outside, and it is cold. But, look at this. A heated throw, okay, I bought two of them, because, because, my heater, and, and the heating pad too, look, get the heating pad, so I actually don't feel anything, coffee in hand, so get your coffee, tea, NyQuil, vodka, some of you need something a little bit stronger, so you can get that, and let's just sit out here and chat, in the cold, I don't know what the degrees is today, but it's really windy, but it's not blowing in here as bad as it is out behind you guys, right? But it is blowing. So hopefully you're having a great Thanksgiving day. Um, I do believe, I do believe stores will be opening up today, which is Thanksgiving day. I do believe, and I think my girls are probably going to be out in it. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how chaotic it is the day before. Tomorrow, it's just probably going to be ridiculous, okay? Ridiculous, I'm sure. Um, it's nothing really in particular that I need or want that's worth really going out um, in it. I don't think, well, maybe some pajamas. Like, I might go out for, like, when the crowd died down. I may go out for pajamas, you know, cozy stuff like that, but nothing major. I don't need anything major. So, every day is Thanksgiving, as you guys know that. They just gave this day a title, but really it's every day. I'm thankful every day. I'm sure you guys are thankful every day as well because we have so much to be thankful for, okay, in spite of. We have so... When I tell y'all, this blanket is warm, honey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the other one, I think these were like, these blankets were $26, I believe. And I got them from Ollie's. The heater, did I say the heater? Okay, so the heater, I had to take it back. And I bought four more, different kinds. Brought them all home. This socket over here. It's not pow high power enough for any type of heater like that, even the smallest of heaters. It just pulls way too much energy. So it kept tripping the breaker box. So then I went to Lowe's, and I talked to someone in their little heating area, and she said the only heater that's going to work out here would be one that's ran by propane. And I'm not comfortable with dealing with propane. Like, I'm just not, I don't even like uh, propane gas grills, even though I had one at the house. I never worked it. I bought it for decoration. Other people used it whenever they cooked on it. I'm just, I don't know. But I'm going to need a propane tank on my bus, though. So I'm going to have to learn how to use the propane tank. But I didn't want to, it wasn't that serious. I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I got this heating blanket. I have another heating blanket for whoever sits over there whenever they want to chill. Or you, I'll put both of them on top of me and just still enjoy outside with a cup of coffee. Mm, mm -mm. By the way, I have a house full of people. It is jam packed inside this house right now. The food smell is amazing. Okay. Amazing. Those collard greens that my grandpa picked out of his garden for me. Oh, my God. I told my mom in there earlier, I said, Ma, these greens so good, honey. It make you want to slap your mama. She told me, come on, try it. 
It's going to be your last bowl of dreams. Come on. I said, okay. Oh, hey, hey. It, it wasn't a, a, a fight call. It was just a, a saying. Oh, my God. She got real defense if you want to fight her daughter. But they are that good. And I think we fixed, or look, we, they fixed, um, collard greens. We didn't do the turkey, because we're, we're just over the turkey. Collard greens, spiral ham, macaroni and cheese, broccoli casserole, yams. Minx is making some type of homemade cake. I'm dying to see what that's going to look like or turn out to be. Um, there's a loaded potato casserole, which my oldest daughter fixed. It looks really good. It just looks like a big pan of a loaded baked potato. Um, there's other desserts in there, too, I believe. Um, a rotisserie chicken. And... I don't know. I went to bed last night, y'all, at around, it had to be around 8.30. I woke up at 2 o'clock to get me something to drink, and the house was packed. Okay? Packed. That's how hard I was sleeping. I don't know why. I was so tired yesterday. I was just drained. So I went to bed early, woke up to them partying. Um... And then I ended up going back to sleep and woke up with my youngest grandson in the bed with me, <laughs> listening to a lullaby. I don't think I could hear the lullaby in my sleep, but I wasn't sure if I was dreaming. No, no, no. His mom had turned on a little lullaby thing that he sleeps with, and that is what I was hearing. And I roll over, and I see him, and I'm like, am I dreaming? No, it was real when he started crying for milk. So there was a blow-up mattress. <laughs> In the living room, the couch, the, the, the big daddy couch was loaded down. The guest bedroom was loaded down. People was in my room. It was a whole it was a whole lot of party. And it's still going on right now. And it probably will still be going on until they leave to go shopping, I guess. So whatever it is you're doing today, family, I hope it is an amazing day for you. I hope you are with family and friends. And if you're not, I hope you are your own best company. And that you find something very entertaining to do, even if it's just relaxing on the couch, watching Christmas movies or whatever type of movies you like, under a blanket like this, with a nice cozy drink, your nice pajamas on, and just chilling with no worries, no care in the world, like your girl, okay? I love you guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Can't be stopped. Sharon cannot be stopped. Just know that. Okay? Okay. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Give me that. Don't you look pretty. Yeah, look at Lucky. Who is that girl? Ooh, you look so fancy. Mama, you look fancy. You look so fancy. Where's the Wi-Fi password? How many times I'm going to tell y'all what that password is? Get out of here.